I am, hello again, uh, Shuji Ozaki, visiting Queensland, Australia, doing Japanese cooking on site in my friend's kitchen. This is my friend, Simon. I, sorry. Okay, Aikido friend. Hello. Okay. I get eggplant. The next is eggplant. We'll do, we'll do eggplant. Just saute, cut it into medallion. Eggplant in Japan is a summer, summer, summer and early autumn vegetables, vegetables, right? So cut it into medallion, about that, the same height, okay? Same height as cooking time is similar, right? And what I'll do, a little bit tough. I feel the skin is a little bit tough, so I might as well take it off, okay? Might as well take it off. I don't need glasses, do they? There you are. Oops, doesn't, not sharp enough. It's been stored in my friend's house for 13 years. <laughs> this is good. I uh, just need to remove, peel the skin off because I find it a little bit tough and chewy. If it is a soft one, you don't have to do that. Um, I'll do that you know, for you to, so you don't get it in between. You don't get it in between your teeth. And, uh, okay. In Japan, there are many different kinds of eggplants, and long and round and big like this. And uh, it's just the summer fruit is supposed to bring your temperature down. And it's also it's it is to help you protect yourself. In other words, it will strengthen your defense mechanism, immune system. And during the summer, these white flesh vegetables is good, does the job, white flesh. So summer fruit, summer fruit is there. Eat the summer fruit. Don't eat, so I don't eat the, uh, the imported, imported, uh, uh, a fruit during summer season, it'll bring your temperature. Oh, no, sorry, forget, cut. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Forget about this. Just stick to this. Uh, this is, anyway, strengthen your immune system. So in the summertime, even if you go to bed with the belly naked, you won't get cold. That's fine, I say. But better you keep your belly nice and warm. Anyway, this, whether it's a daikon, white radish, or eggplant, it'll just, it'll just help strengthen your immune system. It's all healthy food. So what's available in the season, the summer, summer or, or early autumn uh, vegetable it is, the eggplants, eat it. And uh, what we'll do is just, uh, can I have a uh, fork somewhere? Yes, it's there, ready. Just like cook it. Okay. Ah, my assistants, please. I'm um, uh, Miriam. Uh, we have a German uh, girl still in my friend's house. Uh, could you do that, please, whilst I will cut out more uh, uh, eggplants so that uh, people can get to eat? And so that, uh, yeah, just to help me, that would be great. Because we do that because it helps cook quicker this way. You don't always have to do that. Yes, please. You don't always have to do that. Because if you do, it just takes up lots of oil. But eggplant goes well with oil. Like Italians do too. Some of the Australians do too. You know, eggplant. Grill. Nice. So uh, I'll cut out some more because so that everyone can get to have a go. Can get to taste. But thank you. Mimi, uh, that was good. Oh, there's one more to go. Yeah. yeah one more to go. You don't have to do this like I do, you can use peeler, no? For the whole. Okay, I think I'll, you can do it here, please. Okay, I'll, I'll just, uh, you got enough room there. So I'll just rip the first, first lock, first lock in there. So keep the frying pan. Oh, I need to make the sauce first. Sauce, we did there with the, the tofu, we can, leftover, we can use it, but not enough, so I'll make 
uh, more sauce with miso paste. This is white miso paste called Saikyo Miso, made in Brisbane, Australia. A Japanese lady Mayumi-san, she makes great miso paste using the local produce. Rice you need. Australia grows rice in the Nether Queen Leaf Nether area. Here. The rice, co rice cooperative, New South Wales, was, 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 used to be my sponsor. Because I was running around, running around in Sydney teaching, in, teaching at schools how to cook. And they, were, they sponsored all, my, all, the, all the rice I used. Anyway, it's made of rice, that's why it's sweet. And as you, you, you taste it, it's sweet. Originally, originally made in Kyoto, Japan. Many of the uh, other miso is made from soy sauce. Or not, uh, soy beans. Soybeans, not soy sauce. Uh, Soybeans, if you squeeze miso, you get soy sauce. That's what you'll get. Oh, drain it. Okay, put it in. It's sweet, so you don't, really don't have to put in many uh, much sweetener here. This is mirin. Just adding it to it because I need some, I need it. This is too thick, right? Mm. So I need it to make it a little slightly creamy so that you can just uh, you can just put put on top of this uh, sautéed uh, eggplant. That's good. not too much though, because it's sweet. That'll do. So it's like so it's creamy now. See, it gets so so creamy, like a sauce. Right? This time, Julius. Hey. Julian. My Aikido friend Julie-san and myself, she also teaches uh, kids class, adults, when husband James is away. How is this? Julie-san and I went to, this, uh, to meet this lady who makes this mm. miso sauce, nine different kinds. We get to taste nine different kinds, right? Mm -hmm. it's okay. Delicious. Right? Okay. No, then just mm. this. If you don't have mirin, sweet rice, uh, sweet rice sake, you can just add pork. Maybe, mm -hmm. or a sherry, will do, will do, that'll do. Mm -hmm. well, preferably mirin if you can get it. Of course in Brisbane, you can, you can, it's readily available. You can, you can buy mirin anywhere in the, in the world these days. Mm -hmm. So we just cut out the eggplant into a medallion, and this my, uh, um, just poke it. And then just, normally we sport a potato starch, potato starch, the flour, just will do. Just for the little room. Huh? Up and down, bottoms, on top and bottom. Just like that, not too much. Huh? A wrapper peel, that's okay. Heating up now. So I'll put it in. Extra careful, don't choose plus here. Yes, just cook yourself, just leave it there. Uh, a little too high, just put it lower. Um, just listening to the sound of the uh, oil. This is the ideal temperature 160 degrees. I can hear it. Here, 160 degrees. It is 180, turn it off. Here's the it explodes as you put it in. Turn the heel. Turn it off. Might catch fire. So when you're doing any uh, deep frying, or sh this is a shallow fry, it's only about five mil, five millimeter of uh, oil. It's not much. But you take pura. Be careful. Don't burn your kitchen. Okay. It's been uh, cooking in shallow oil or. So it's okay. for about five minutes now. And then turn over. Nice. Slightly. Is it translucent? No. How do you describe this color? Golden brown. Golden brown. Looks good, eh? Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown fox fur, they say. Golden brown. So as you say, there's no oil anymore. So I just need to add a little bit because it just soaks up 
the oil because but this is healthy rice bran oil so you don't have to just cook again on the other side and uh, make sure you have enough just enough oil not too much as you as you shallow fry not deep fry <laughs> just shallow and try not to burn it what I normally do is I have deep fryer and put it in the deep deep fryer and it cooks much faster because it comes all from all sides. Cooking time will be less. And to see whether it's cooked or not, I use a fork or a metal skewer and just skewer. And if you feel it's soft, it's okay, but it's a bit Ouch! Cooked. Done. I, I just said, I feel, this feeling is important, you know? Skewer with a mm, mm, bamboo skewer. If it's soft, that's fine. If it's hard, not yet. But if it's hot like this, done. I think this particular eggplant is a bit hard, so I don't feel that feeling, that's soft going through as you poke the fork or uh, skewer. But never mind, it's cooked. So, done. Just need to, just need to cut it out. And, uh, just need a little, a little more room. Just a Nice to have friends helping, assisting me. <laughs> if everyone is here to help, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hmm. I'll cut it up. Still there. You can be with, with, with these. Huh? Normally I don't cut like that. So we can share. Right? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> when you reheat, reheat it with lower temperature, uh, but I'm in a little bit hurry. You don't mind putting sake in there? <laughs> Just a touch. Beautiful. Makes it even better. You can put an egg yolk. Makes it more, um, makes it nicer. Like a, your, uh, what's that? What's that you have? The sauce? Mayonnaise. It's white miso sauce, Saikyo. Like the uh, snow top Mount uh, Fuji, whatever. <laughs> and as we speak, it is early summer, early summer, so we need some green in between the uh, patches of the snow as it starts to melt. So I just put some more, just, just, just put some more chili, uh, chives on it. Just a little green stuff. A little green. 
coming up in between the snow. I'll just fasten it. Okay, that's, some, that's Japan, the scenery with Japan. You can see, you get to see snow and you get to see some green, new life come back to life. So that's what it is. Uh, this eggplant uh, with uh, white miso sauce, Kyoto uh, Saikyo Miso. Again, it is called Nas no Dengak. Nas eggplant. Dengak. Dengak. Enjoy. Enjoying all the music before the plant, rice planting season. So let's please enjoy this dish. Thank you, Shanti. It's a little sweet, this one. This one's sweet.